TM. <laughs> show with fucking Bryce Byerly, yes. you're going to fucking laugh. Yeah. There ain't no, you could be like the most humorless turd on the planet. And the moment that motherfucker comes strolling across the stage, you're like, oh, fuck. He never failed to make other people laugh on stage. We did a touring kids show for uh, Vallejo uh, Youth Conservatory, Walking a Thin Line, I think mm -hmm. it was called. And uh, Brett Hodson wrote the Star Trek sketch. I think I was Captain jerk <laughs> captain jerk i think it was captain jerk so we toured this around to different schools in northern california and it was all sort of like drug getting kids to say no to drugs basically uh bryce he would always do something different bryce was always a master about just finding random shit and bringing it on stage and using it in the scene we get to the part where he enters the scene and he enters with a bunch of shit that he found in the <laughs> classroom <laughs> <laughs> and we were all seeing it for the first time. One, he had a puppet in his in his uh, shirt. So he had two heads, which is something we never saw before, right? That was one. Two, he took he took the top of a microphone off. Yeah. yeah. And he put it in his eye. So he had this like sort of like, you know, weird looking eye thing yeah and he comes walking on stage you know doing this voice or whatever with all this shit on and literally everyone in the scene turned up stage <laughs> and you just see this <laughs> for a good like 10 seconds fred none of us could go on <laughs> it's just bryce is the only one looking at the audience and we just turn and we're just like oh my god, oh my god. trying to like compose ourselves so we could get through the damn scene I just want to remind the home viewing audience of that great joke he did in Peter Pan where he played Starkey. Remember Starkey? Starkey! It was you! No, no! It wasn't me! One night in particular, he fucking stuttered on a line like Billy Bibbit. And it went on for like 40 seconds! <laughs> so he fucking has to walk the plank and jump over the ship. Right? And he's like, yeah! He hits the ground, mind you. He's still falling. <laughs> splash! He would say splash really loud, and he had this water gun, and he'd shoot it up in the air. It was like three little squirts. But for some reason, the audience saw it, and they just thought it was the funniest shit. Like a little splash with this big ass dude. <laughs> Remember when uh, he was in Jesus Christ Superstar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we did it at Vallejo High, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. he had strep throat so bad, he could not reach those notes. So he had to do this line where he sings, You'll be lost and you'll be sorry when I'm gone. Got... It was like he was a rocket ship taken off from Earth. <laughs> 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 I remember uh -huh. you guys used to impersonate him because he wouldn't say sorry, he'd say sabi. That's what he said. <laughs> be, you'll be lost and you'll be sabi when I'm gone. <laughs> I don't know.